Now we will see a typical use case of Explorer 360. This is the icon of the program and this is the side that we want to survey. Let's start the interface. There are some options regarding the virtual environment creation process and the button to start the process. Let's generate a 3D scene. The scene is under construction. For each hyperlink there is an object in the room. We have bookshelves and lectins to represent the various kinds of pages. On every object there is an image representing its content. These are examples of bookshelves. Look at the images. For example we have cinema, history, philosophy and these are lectins representing what pages. We have for example the page of the news. Let's click on it. As you can see Internet Explorer has been refreshed and displays the right content. Let's try another one. For example, the page of donations. Let's click on it. OK. It works. Internet Explorer constantly follows the users during their navigation process. This is another demo to present the dual view option for the lectern. We are surfing in the section regarding the portrait of Botticelli. These upper images are dynamically downloaded from the Internet in order to give a hint to the user of what kind of content is inside the subject. The lower images are a real-time preview of the web pages. For instance, clicking on the portrait of Esmeralda Brandini, Internet Explorer opens the related web page. So, we can surf inside a text-based website only looking at the images.